thanks to John Piper with the weekend video clip, and it's Saturday the 4th of May, and this report's coming from Tuscany, where the uh, weather is uh, quite delightful, really. hope the same is uh, true in the UK. Um, we're looking at early chart of the Dow here. Yes, as report, I said we're heading for 14,900, and a breakthrough was was likely, uh, or possible, I can't remember that word I used. Anyway, we certainly saw a breakthrough, and uh, the market probed through there quite quickly. Um, this is now clearly an ABC. I discussed this possibility a few times. Um, we can have a one wave, uh, probably to there actually, a two to there, then a one, two, and a three here. Let's go down to a slightly shorter term chart so we can look at the, uh, the form of the latest rally. And uh, we can see that we're now looking at the uh, what, same 10 minute chart. Um, so we've got a one, Two, three there. This is probably a four. So another another rally is certainly very likely above fifteen thousand, um, and that would be forming wave three, or, or possibly even wave one of three. Um, given the, the situation we're in, I mean the market could just keep going up. It's again a problem where where else to put money. I think is a big issue at the moment. Um, although property is now showing signs of life. Um, quite how how the, how sustainable sustainable that'll be. I'm not too sure, given that we still have problems with growth. Um, numerous other problems around the place, but right now the markets, this market's been good. Um, and I expect FTSE and the DAX will show similar patterns. We'll have a look at those now. Okay, here's a day chart of FTSE. Um, we had this low in July 2011. Um, this now looks like a one, although the count is, is hardly uh, ideal. ABC two. Um, this will all be sort of a one. Sorry, let me, one, two to there. Maybe a three to there. Then this, this could now be a fourth wave. And a fifth wave coming in. So here too, new highs are very likely. Um, quite how to go from there, I'm not too sure, but certainly we're, we, we've seen the fastest part of this. Um, and let's have a look at the shorter term chart here again. Okay, the early charts. Um, so we count from here, we've got one, two, maybe a three to there, and a four. The fifth wave now coming in. So, so again, yeah, we've, we've got cases for some kind of pullback pretty soon now. Um, but it may be a corrective move, depending on how it all pans out. Uh, DAX, uh, similar, action, similar action on the DAX with a 1, 2, 3 to here, 4, 1, 2, 3. This is all part of the fifth wave. So again, you know, a case of not much more, high, not much higher to go. Let's have a look at longer term chart. Isn't it? Well, the DAX is very close to making new highs now. I think the high came at 81.51 there, so 81.30 was the high yesterday. Um, Again, not not the an easiest count, but that, that could be some kind of one, two. Um, then, I mean, the, the actual wave structure is not very good. That's like an ABC, but that could be a one, two. Uh, again, it gets a bit messy, really. I mean, there's, there is a one, two, three, four, maybe, but it's very unclear. But basically, it looks like new highs are pretty much a, pretty much a given now. Um, so again, we'll have to see how it develops once we get to there. So we'll look at gold now. Okay, interesting action on gold. We saw a bit of a spike up yesterday, and then that was not back again. So it was a, a, a spike, a selling spike basically, but it made new highs. Actually, that's quite a positive move for gold. I mean, this trend line remains important, um, and the key question remains: is this is this the low? I think it might be now. In fact, let's have a look at the shorter term action. Okay, this is the early chart. This is the low that we saw back in the, well, mid-April. We've now got a, a one, two, and then a three to there, an A, B, C, very much controlled by this uh, trend line. Um, then we've got a possible fifth wave, peaking at new highs yesterday. So that could be five waves up. Um, now, there's no guarantee that, that that is a correct count, but if it is, then we could see an ABC now, just to shake you out, out a bit, uh, and then we could see a solid rally. Let's have a look at that in the shorter term. Right, it's pretty much classic stuff. The the high came in there, around uh, I think 1485 thereabouts. Um, we then saw this obviously corrective decline down to there, and now I've got one, two, three, four, five, and we've got this this peak. Uh, spike selling spike, um, which you know, stopped out all people who, who went short before, um, and then retraced back down here. So if that's a fifth wave, then um, that means that gold is back in the uptrend. 
Uh, and the key thing is now to make sure this rally is corrective. So this decline turns out to be a correction. So either it's going to go further, and say go down to there, around, around 14, 20, 1400, uh, which would be an ABC off the peak. Um, or, I mean, it's possible there's actually some kind of new action. Um, if it's new action, that might be a negative for gold. So a smaller correction, but then more upside in the shorter term. That may seem like a contradiction, but in terms of Elliott Wave Theory, having seen five waves up, it's important that those five waves are all part of the same move. If, if instead of an ABC, if you let me go to a longer term chart and explain this. Well, the point I'm making, if this is a complete move to there, then that's an A wave, and that's an ABC. Okay, so we can then see a an irregular A, B, C decline, um, perhaps, but it would still be corrective. So even though we might then see more upside, it would still be a correction. Um, but the alternative is that we've actually seen a complete five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. So we now need to see an A, B, C from there, um, which would set the scene for something more, much more important. Now, in terms of time, this this rally's lasted about about three weeks now, so a week or so of downside would fit the fit the bill perfectly. And at that point, we we could then see this, this solid buying opportunity I'm, I'm looking for. Um, of course, these, these are all hypotheses. Uh, in all in all trading, we're looking at a, an hypothesis, if you like, a setup which is then proven by market action or, or in fact, disproven. Um, and, and this is one one such hypothesis. Right, so pound dollar now. Okay, here's the wave pattern. So that's a peak. One, two, three down to there, say. Four there, five. So five wave decline. Now I've got an A, B, C, B, and then maybe this final C wave rally. Um, doesn't count as a five because the, the wave four overlaps wave one. Um, and you'll see we're right on the 50% retracement level. Uh, at this point, there's no sign of a, of a peak. I mean, I we haven't seen any significant selling. But let's look at the shorter term action here. Okay, so we had a low there. I mean, it's possible here. One, two, maybe three. But right now, it looks like we've seen an ABC here again, down to there, in fact. So one, I think I think it's going to poke us at above 156. Um, if, if that fails, any such move fails, that would be another opportunity to go short. Um, that's a shorter term stance. Um, you know, if you see such a move, you want to go short, then, then you have an opportunity quite a tight stop. Um, for big calls, we want a bit more more confirmation. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the T-bonds. Right, T-bonds saw quite a solid spike yesterday. You notice the peak here and a big sell-off. Um, two early savers, whether well, it's of great note, but it's certainly a big move down. And we are looking for signs that bonds are going to peak. Um, in fact, we're short of T-bonds. Um, so and and if if the the view is that the economy is now responding, although there seems to be no particular sign of it in many ways, um, then interest rates are sus subject to be moving upwards, which of course would be a bit of a blow for the bond market. Anyway, on that note, uh, I'll, uh, I'll finish the report. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Um, have a great weekend. I'm back with the report on Tuesday morning. Um, thanks for listening. Bye for now.